The word disciple seems almost like an antiquated or retro type word that only belongs to Bible days. Not often do we hear people say in this modern time, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. But who is a disciple and are we cultivating true disciples today or are we just mere Christians? Hi family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice and it's always a pleasure to have you with me. So when we pay attention to the story in Mark chapter 1 verses 16 to 20, we see that Jesus called his first four disciples. And there was one thing that stood out to me while reading the scripture and that is the Bible says they immediately left and followed him. And it made me ponder on if we have that type of hard posture today where Jesus would call us out from something that we are accustomed to doing or that we love doing and we would easily give it all up to follow him or are we just as we love to call ourselves believers people who simply believe but find it hard to leave things behind so before we get into the five qualities of the skeletal structure of a disciple we need to understand who is a disciple so by definition a disciple is someone who is an adherent or a follower of their teacher another uh, definition said a disciple is an imitator of their teacher so let's keep that in mind because we're going to return to that definition so here are five qualities that makes up the structure of a disciple quality number one they must be willing to deny themselves and follow Christ throughout Jesus's message and when we read in other parts of the Bible from the apostles and the disciples you would realize that self-denial is one of the vital signs of a true disciple of Jesus Christ do you remember the story of the rich man who wanted relationship with Jesus Christ but when he was told to sell everything and follow he left with a sad countenance because he was not about to give up his wealth. And so, of course, we found out where his heart was. And as the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, where a man's treasure is, is where a man's heart is, sorry, is where his treasure is. Quality number two, they hear the voice of God and they follow. There's a song by Victoria Orenzi that says, we hear you and we follow. And that's true. A disciple of Jesus don't need to hear twice. He calls out once <laughs> and because their heart is in total submission and surrender to his leading and direction, they hear and immediately follow. As Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 27, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Quality number three, they love like Jesus. This means that they're going to love the unlovable. And they're going to still pray and fight and petition on behalf of those that may be deemed unreachable. Their heart is filled with so much love and compassion, just like Jesus, that that is what motivates them to function. Number four, they are relentless in sharing the gospel. Because a true disciple understands that the, the, the word of God is the power of God unto salvation and their heart again loves like Jesus Christ they will not let any opportunity pass by to share the word of God because their desire is to see sinners or people practicing sin come to repentance and number five a disciple makes other disciples when Jesus called Andrew and Peter from their fishing lifestyle he said come let me make you fishers of men he didn't say come let me teach you this theology or let me show you how to cast out demons and be cool he said come let me train you so that you will be able to bring others within the body of Christ so as I mentioned earlier a disciple is someone who imitates their teacher and we have a specific scripture verse that says to us that we are supposed to be imitators of Christ. So I ask the question, I challenge you with this question as I challenge myself. Are you a true disciple? Are you denying yourself? Are you hearing his voice and following or you need to stop and think, what do I want to do? Are you loving like Christ loves, sharing the gospel relentlessly? Are you making other disciples? If you are doing all these things, then well done and keep on keeping the good faith. But for those of you who may be struggling, I want to encourage you to surrender your heart to God. As I said in a previous video, the, the struggle to surrender ends where the decision to surrender 
begins. And if we are called to be imitators of Jesus Christ, it would be remiss of us to believe, but don't have a true desire to leave the things of the flesh behind. So I pray that the Lord works on your heart to submit in total surrender so that you can be the true definition of a disciple and not just a mere Christian. I hope you were blessed. Until next time, take care.